This part of the video presentation covers the famous Chatsworth train wreck of 1887. Mrs. Stoutmeyer, who was a Chatsworth school teacher, compiled all of her train wreck information into this book, which was published in 1970, The Train That Never Arrived. The February Blade actually published her book for her. And my impression after reading the book is she spent her whole life collecting every piece of information she could find about this famous train wreck. There were uh, some February people who were on the train and were injured. Uh, there was no fatalities of February citizens. But some of the injured February people were H.C. Uh, Cook, George Harms, James Turner, Lewis Warding, A.C. Bartlett, Mrs. F.M. Patton, F. Siegler and Charles Monder, many with leg and foot injuries, and it was noted several had to have amputations. As I said, no Fairbury people were killed. A man who was from Blackstone boarded the train at Fairbury, and he was killed. The Great Chatsworth train wreck of 1887, uh, as best as we can recount today, there were two locomotives and about 15 cars. In fact, there's some dispute about how many cars there actually were. Um, roughly 625 passengers out of those 85 were killed and 372 were injured. As a sideline note, uh, some February doctors actually helped treat some of the injured. At the time, this was the third worst train wreck in U.S. history. It was believed to have been caused by a railroad maintenance crew out burning weeds and they did not put out their fire at the end of the day. The fire spread and burnt down a 14-foot-long wood-supported bridge. And if you remember a previous uh, part of this presentation, the bridges back then were supported by wood, not steel or concrete. The first locomotive made it over the uh, bridge, but the second locomotive did not. It went down, and then the passenger cars went down too. Those wood, wood passenger cars telescoped into each other, and there were horrible mutilations, including decapitations. A terribly injured man actually committed suicide with a pistol. The Chatsworth and Piper City citizens helped care for the injured and remove the dead. What's amazing is 15,000 people came by horse or buggy to witness the wreck scene back in 1887. Here's a picture of the train wreck showing us how the cars, the wooden cars, were devastated. Uh, you can, there's actually men standing on top of the wrecked cars. Here's another photograph of the train wreck showing the destroyed wooden cars. When that second locomotive went down, uh, when the bridge collapsed and it went downwards, the next four or five cars, passenger cars, went down also. And they telescoped into each other and basically sheared off all the wooden area where the passengers were sitting and all that was left was the frame and the steel wheels. And in this picture it's kind of hard to tell, but I believe there's at least three if not four passenger cars stock, uh, stacked on top of each other with nothing left in between. And in between is where the people, passengers were sitting. I looked on the internet and I found a, what a typical wood uh, passenger car looked like in the 1860 to 1880 time period when this famous Chatsworth wreck occurred. Here's another photo. Uh, showing some of the people, that, some of the 15,000 people that came to see the wreck site. Today there is a marker along the road, and so here's a copy of the marker up here. Um, this train was uh, on its way to Niagara Falls, from Peoria to Niagara Falls. Here's a list of the dead that was published in local newspaper. Um, I'm not going to go through all the names, but it's interesting that most of the people were from the Peoria, either from Peoria or the Peoria area that were on the train.